thank you, God, because you are our intercessor, Father. We thank you, God, because you are our chief cornerstone. Father, we thank you on this morning because you are our provider. God, we thank you on this morning, God, because you have made a way in and a way out. God, we thank you on this morning, God, because you are our shelter in the time of storm. So, Father, we say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, because you gave us another opportunity at life. Father, we thank you this morning, God, because, God, you gave us another opportunity to say yes. Say yes to your will, Father. Say yes to your way, Father. Yes to your will. Yes to your way. Yes, Father, to your will. Yes to your way, Father. Yes to your will and yes to your way, Father. Yes to your will and yes to your way, Father. So we say thank you, God, for another opportunity, oh God, to come into your promises that you have for us, Father. Father, we say thank you, God, for another opportunity, oh God, for another opportunity to give your name the praise, another opportunity to give your name the thanks, another opportunity to yield, another opportunity to repent, another opportunity to say yes, Father, another opportunity to humble ourselves, humble ourselves before you, Father, and we say thank you, thank you, God, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, God, because it had not been for you, God, where would we be, Father? So we say thank you, Father, God, we thank you, God, for allowing us to be set in our waiting period, Father. We thank you, Father, because you, oh God, never left us in our struggling period, Father. Father, we say thank you, God, oh God, thank you, God, because you loved us enough, oh God, to wake us up this morning. You loved us enough, Father, to start us on our way. You loved us enough, Father, to have every activity of our limbs. You loved us enough, God, because you covered our God, you loved us enough, Father, because we have money in our accounts. You loved us, Father, enough to have food on our table. You loved us, Father, enough, God. You loved us enough, oh God. You loved us enough, oh God, to come into your presence again. You loved us enough, oh God, to come into your presence again. You loved us enough, oh God, so that we'd be able to communicate with you again. Father, you loved us enough, oh God, to try us on our jobs again. You loved us enough, oh God, to try again. You loved us enough, oh God, not to turn your back on us, oh God. When we turned our backs on you, Father, oh God, you loved us enough, oh God. You loved us, 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 you loved us beyond our faults, you loved us, Father, beyond every need, oh God. You loved us enough, Father, beyond our disappointments, oh God. You loved us enough, Father. You loved us enough, Father, when we did wrong. Father, 
We think we're upright. We think we're in the right standard. We think that we're standing on your firm foundation, but we set up some altars in our lives that's not like you. Altars, God, altars that we have replaced. So busy building up our own altars. Instead of, instead of being at the altar, instead of kneeling at your altar, instead of being face down at your altar, Jesus. God, we come asking you to tear down and to dismantle the altars that we set up. The altar that has us disconnected from you, Father. Come on, open up your mouth, because we have some altars that we need God to dismantle. We, we have some altars that we need God to destroy. We have some altars that we need God to chisel at and break down in our lives. We have altars, God, of, 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 of witchcraft. We have altars, God, of familiar spirits. We have altars of abuse. We have altars of marriage breakers. We have altars of infirmity. We have altars of forgetfulness. We have altars of failure. We have altars of the Jezebel spirit. We have altars, altars, altars. And God, we come on this morning asking you to break the altar of self-sabotage, the altar of delay, the, the altar of false prophecies, the, the altar of fear, the altar of trauma, the altar of unfaithfulness, the altar of hopelessness, the altar of restlessness, the altar of suicide. God, break down the altars. Break down the break it, break it, break it, break it, God. Break it, break it, break it. Break it. We ourselves. We don't need no third party to come on our behalf. We don't need no other sacrifice. Come on, open up your mouth. Come on, open up your mouth. If you want God to do something great in your life, you need to open up your mouth. If you need a change, you need to open up your mouth. If you need to be delivered, set free, oh God, come on, open, 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 open up your mouth. I know you didn't wake up this morning just to stand and look, but open up your mouth. Come on, open up your mouth, open up your mouth, open up your mouth, open, open. So God, we ask that you meet every need, that you meet every need, 
Whatever the need is that we stand in prayer for, God, meet the need. Touch every individual that walks into your sanctuary. Let them lay it all down at the altar. Let them lay it all down at the altar. Because in you, there's a safe place. In transition, nothing is easy, but you're going to walk with us through our valley experience. And as we tear down these altars on this morning, we ask that you fill us up with your precious Holy Ghost, that your oil, the same oil that ran down the beard of Aaron, that it will run down us, that our cups will overflow, that our cups will overflow, that we won't hinder you, that we won't shut you down, but we will get everything that we have come in need of. So come on, clap your hands and give God the praise. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Stay right where you are. Come on, stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Just drive right there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Why don't 
don't you push it. Come on. You push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Push it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Raise your expectations on today. Yeah. 
allowing judgment. He sent mercy. Thank you, Lord. He sent mercy for me. He sent mercy after me. Mercy came after me. Mercy came all the days of my life. Mercy came after me. Oh, it came after me. After me. It came after you. Who deserves to be here? Who deserves to be here? Who, de who deserves it? Me least of all. Me least of all. Me least of all. But he sent mercy my way. Thank you, Lord. Yes, I shouldn't have breath in my body. I know Minister Mines doesn't mind me telling you this. <clears throat> she and her prophets in the last time I seen them. We're in 2022. And in 2020, my these are my sisters and my babies and my god brothers over there and precious nose. They did a key and live drive. Now, why would they have to do that? My name is Kia, right? <laughs> because the doctors gave me three weeks to live. Three weeks. So you'll be dead in three weeks. So I prepared my funeral. My daughter is here. That's my youngest daughter. She'll tell you, I wrote my obituary. I said, this is who you call to print my funeral arrangements. I ensured that my insurance was ready. Jesus. Jesus. I went into completely kidney failure out of nowhere. Jesus. No pre-existing disease, no family history. And I heard in my spirit very clearly, I'm already a miracle. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. what was going on, I'm already a miracle. Yes, Lord. So here I stand. Jesus, Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Sometimes weak. Sometimes without air. But what they said would be three weeks turned into two years. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. My God, sister, she's been here every step of the way. Picking me up from the hospital. Jesus biopsies and treatments. Jesus, Jesus. My daughter is legally my caregiver. Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can't tell me what God can't do. Thank you, Lord. you also can't tell me what he won't do. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so we've been here 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 years and we're putting God, the eternal, in a box. Jesus. In our box Jesus. of expectation. Jesus. But he told me, I'm already a miracle. Hallelujah. Yeah, bye. Nothing I do, I'm supposed to do. I want you to know that. My oxygen content is low most of the time, every day. I can be in pain from head to toe, but when the anointing, when the anointing comes, the results of what a submitted life can be. Come on here. Thank you, Lord. And so I tell it not to pop my collar or to seem like it looks good, but God told me to tell my story. Yes, Lord. So that people can see what it looks like going through. Yeah. Sometimes we hear the testimony after it's done, right? But here I stand taking dialysis every day. Jesus. Eight and a half hours every day. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. What you see is the grace of God. Yeah, by Shia. Sometimes I tell my daughter, I'm looking at my life and I don't believe it. <laughs> but God is that kind of God. He's a miracle worker. He will confine the minds of the doctors. Yes, will. Yes, will. Because they say, if I didn't know any better, you couldn't tell me you were sick. And I say, me either. Thank you, Lord. Because I know a God yes. that heals. Thank you, Lord. And I'm literally walking in healing. See, they just don't know it. Thank you, Lord. But I'm walking in healing. Yes, yes, I'm walking in healing. Yes, and every time the water is troubled, yes, God. every time it's stirred, Get right in. Yes, God. Yes, God. Cause I need it. Tell my Oh, 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 You can't tell me what God won't do. Where am I? Yes, 
I think it's time for me to turn it over. Welcome. Welcome. Stood up here to welcome. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Welcome. 
Welcome to the prayer gathering. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Teach us to pray ministries. Honor the vessel of this house in our absence, our Bishop Maureen L. Davis and our Elder Davis. Thank God for a shepherd that understands and values prayer. And entrusting us even on today. I'm not going to be up here before you long. But when I, when I, when I asked God, what could I say when I got up here? I was reminded, Prophet Tim, I was reminded, Elder Brantley, of Elijah's journey when he ran into the widow. And the story is found in 1 Kings chapter 17. And what many of you don't know is that she was gathering sticks and for her last meal. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I was saying, God, what do I say to the people? And the relevance is, of course, the story is when Elisha showed up. He showed up, obviously, in the nick of time, but I thought about the widow, and I thought about the loss, what it looked like when you're in a drought season, when it look, what it looks like when you come into the house of God, and you're coming, you're coming and being authentic, and you're coming in the place that you are, and I thought about how the enemy will remind you of what you're going back to. He will remind you of what you're going back to, making you feel like or having those conversations that when you go back home, your situation is not going to change. And when you go back home, that will be the last time. But I believe that as I'm standing here, as sure as I'm standing here on today, that when I read the story, you see, the thing is, Precious, I thought about what Elijah said, because isn't it something when you already know that you're low? But the story was, he said, get me something to eat. When you pour it out and you have nothing left and someone says, but I need what you have. And she was saying, well, I'm going back home and it's a meal before me and my son die. But I want to say on this morning that there are Elijah's in the building that saying you shall eat, you shall live. As a matter of fact, when we were in the back, when we were in the back, I said to them, I said, well, God, okay, they can read the story about the widow, okay. But here's what he said. He said, tell them that on this morning, you have come to your first official burn party. And one of the things that's so relevant about a burn party is that not everyone comes, but it's the ones that are authentic. It's the ones that have your back. It is the ones that say, I'm not letting you go back. Let me explain that. Oftentimes when you have a burn party, it is the breaking away. It is the breakup. When we're talking about rebuilding the altars of our heart, we're talking about getting the stuff out that's clouding God from being in the space that he can encapsulate, right? And so when I thought about the burn party, I said, well, God, if naturally we were at a burn party with our girlfriends and we were telling them, you don't need that guy anymore, we would say, bring the sweatshirt, bring, because some of y'all won't let go of stuff. But on this morning, hear me, I have a week till I could not, this week, because I feel like God is saying I want to take it. But today I'm saying let it burn. Give it over to God. Let it go. There's so much 
much more to do. That's so much more to give. And here's the thing about the story with the widow. Is that a few verses later, her son passed. And she kind of asked the prophet, like, why? Why, why, why? But what I love is that he took the son where he was, separated in a room. And before he did anything, he prayed. Then he trusted the weight of God to rest on that dead thing. Some of you might be going through some major things. Listen, we get excited and shout over houses. We get excited and shout over businesses, and none of that is bad. But can we praise God over the fact of life? I am past the place of shouting over materialistic things. I thank God for keeping me alive in this season where I would have lost my mind. He kept me where I would have lost my mind. And so we have intercessors. We have prophets. We have pastors to minister. But I'm going to, oh, Jesus. You got to let it go. You got to break up with it. This year, elder, they don't know. It's a heart. Where I ask God in my garden if this cup could pass. If it, in my garden. But one thing I learned, and I heard Dr. Matt say this, Crush, is that we need people that won't let us negate the garden, won't let us skip it, but that will get behind us. And on this morning, we're getting behind you and saying, stand through it, suffer through it, so you don't have to go back. That is, listen, so you don't have to go back. We want to skip the garden. Yeah. We want to skip the suffering. But it's in the suffering that produced the good. It's in the people walking away. It's in the relationships that are broken. It is in the burning. It is in the sacrifice. It is the place of slaughter. It is the place of inconvenience. Hey. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. It is, it is, it is, it is. It is, it is, it is, it is. In order to walk this life, there has to be a break and there has to be a death so that God's weight, if our own Savior, if our own Savior had to die to a thing and he was the Savior of the world, what makes us? And my last thing, I, I don't want to be up here long. But I was reminded of the story when Jesus went and they said, my daughter's dead. And Jesus came in and said, she's sleeping. And they began to laugh. And he kicked them out. So many people are saying, that situation in your life is dead. And they're laughing. They're laughing and they're saying, you thought you would be here. You thought this would be how your life is and look, but it's just asleep. It's not dead. And the problem is in a lot of our lives. And I, I, I want to talk about this in a place of prayer. We don't want to travail. We don't want what it takes to have a sacrifice prayer life. It is sacrifice. It is sacrifice. You lose stuff. You go through things that are indescribable because a sacrifice prayer life does not come without pain. But here's what I want to say, and I'm done. If you are going to be in this burn party this morning, it is participation. It is annihilation of the enemy's plan. And it is a breaking away of something. If it's a relationship, if it's more of your time, 
And everyone in here, you are accountable. Listen, we want this stuff to burn. We have a world to set ablaze just alone in the city of Philadelphia. Why are there so many mass shootings? Why are there so many abortions? Why? When God has given us, what's... but it has to burn. It's not about platform. It's not. Listen. My greatest days, Leah, was in a prayer closet. In a makeshift prayer closet. In the projects. One parent, after getting out of foster care, I would go in that closet. No door. You could have put a curtain there. And I would cry out to God. Where? (laughs) To some people, right? But that's where my prayer life was birthed. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? No dad to sit down and say, Dad. But I've learned God to be Abba, my Alpha and Omega, my Papa. Through my worst moments, prayer was birthed. And so I don't stand up here without having stuff to burn. I've lost. Presh will tell you, the hardest season was losing Iris, losing my mother in love in 2016. Hard seasons. It doesn't come without sacrifice. Your children, some of the things that they, my husband, doesn't come without sacrifice. It doesn't come without burning. But it's a life, if you would tap in on this morning, it's life changing. Oh God. Listen, if you would tap in. So we're gonna take a moment. Because we know we got intercessors, we know we got people. But if not one intercessor gets up here on today, I'm going for what I know because I need something. If you can rest on your feet, I am saying I cannot go back home to certain situations. I am saying some things have to change. I didn't come out on a Saturday morning with not having expectancy. And so I'm going to pray a little and I'm going to pass the mic. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Hallelujah, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Your people need something on this morning, oh, God. They came with expectancy, oh, God. They came with urgency, oh, God. Oh, God, you've seen the tears behind the scene. God, you've seen the lack behind the scenes. But on this morning, oh, God, Holy Spirit, we're asking you, Jehovah Gabor, contend with the things that have contended with your people in the name of Jesus. And we're asking you, oh, God, I see it, I see it, Papa. Ones that are just saying, if it doesn't change this morning, I don't know. But I pray, God, (laughs) that God, even on this morning, uh, you would do the thing, oh God. uh, That you would break up the broken pieces, oh God, and mend it back together the way. uh, God, the altar, (laughs) the rebuilding of the altar, the place of slaughter, (laughs) the place of inconvenience, (laughs) the place of loneliness. where sometimes you're taunted, oh God, for saying yes, oh God. But I pray, oh God, just like when Elijah was telling the bell worshipers, oh, maybe your God took a break. Oh God, but I heard when Elijah called, oh God, every area was consumed. May you do that on this morning, oh God. Consume every area in the name of Jesus. We trust you, oh God. We lean in, oh God. God, we lean in. Let it burn, oh God. Let it burn, oh God. Let it burn. Let it 
every idolatry form, oh God, burn in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every place of Baal, oh God, where we've allowed the enemy, oh God, even in our fear, oh God, where we allow the enemy to take, Lord God, what you put on the inside of us, let it burn. God, we stand in a place of accountability on this morning. Every form of residue, God, you know, every addiction, let it burn in the name of Jesus. Let the spirit of complacency, the spirit of sabotage, the spirit of comparison, let it burn in the name of Jesus. See God. And we pray on today that every penina spirit, every spirit, oh God that has taunted your people, that God, even now, you're raising up the hands. I hold, I heard Elder Brantley say, even in the season of Hannah, one of the things that I thought about when he was speaking about it on the call with pressure is I thought about that, God, you're stationed in intercessors that will be able to kill that spirit from heaven down. In the name Jesus. Uh, God, change how we pray. Uh, God, we're seated in heavenly places. Uh, we have the authority, oh God. So we pray, oh God, that you'll teach us how to pray. Uh, teach us how to seek you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, uh, Lord, and I pray that God, I pray that God, we will stop putting you not only in a box, but we will stop making you so common, oh God. You're not common. You're extraordinary. You are the God of all gods. God, even when we come to you, there is a level of respect that we should have. Humility, oh God. And we thank you. And we give you glory. And we give you honor. Come on and praise God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, Jesus, we thank you. Oh, we honor you on today, God. Oh, because you're worthy, God, of all the glory and all of the praise. Jesus, this is a burn party on today, right? This is a burn party on today, right? We're going to do something today. We're going to do something prophetic today, if it's okay. Minister Precious, I would like you all to write down the thing you want to burn up on today. Hallelujah. As I was sitting here, the Lord began to speak to me and said, write it down. Sometimes we need that tangible evidence that that thing is gone. Whatever you need to burn up, whatever has been burdening you, whatever you're leaving on the altar today. Oh, God, we thank you. Burn, 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 burn. 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 It is the spirit of grief burn up in this place today. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, when Deacon stood up here and said that God required something of the widow when she thought she had nothing left. <laughs> Y'all, I called Minister Press yesterday. I said, I don't know if I can do this. I don't have anything to give. I'm a dead woman walking, and I don't have anything inside of me to give. I can't, I can't make it. I don't know what I'm going to do. 
Two months ago, I buried my father. He died of kidney cancer, and I said, Lord, why? He was a man of God that was upright. He served you with everything in him. For 40 years, he led your people. Shortly after my father died, my best friend's mother died. And I didn't know that God was having me walk this through so I could walk her through. What I'm bringing to the altar today is my will. Because if I can be honest, the last three years haven't gone the way I thought they would. What do you do when the assignment changes? What do you do when the word of the Lord over your life changes? See, in 2019, the Lord had me start a ministry called Warrior Wives and Women in Wait. I was battling not only for my marriage, but for the soul of my husband. I'm going to pray, but I hope you guys are writing those things down. And I'm going to bring this trash can forward, and you can just come on in and drop it in. Because it's going to burn up today. In faith, we believe that it's going to burn up today. The very thing that came to kill you is the thing that is sustaining you. See, Elder, when you talked about that sickness, you got authority in that area. You got healing in your hands, and because you heal, sickness has attacked your body. See, I got authority in the area of marriages, and those that I've been counseling by the grace of God, I've seen restoration, and I said, Lord, why is mine still broken? Lord, why did I have to end this? Why did I have to stand and look stupid? I was embarrassed. But what the Lord did is he took every comfort I had. He took every hiding place from me. I want you to really search your heart today and ask the Lord, what am I leaning on more than you? Because there was a time in my life where I leaned on my husband more than I leaned on God. There was a time in my life when I leaned on my father more than I leaned on God. And he says, I'm about to show you who's standing up inside of you. Oh, Holy Spirit, rest upon me like a dove on today. Oh, Father, we come to you today just saying thank you. Thank you, God, for every struggle that you've given us. When was the last time you blessed God for the thing that was hard? I come today as Ezekiel saying these bones can live. (laughs) Oh, I'm telling you, once I begin to die to my desires, I didn't want to be embarrassed. But that thing I was holding on to was killing my destiny. You thought you couldn't live without it. You thought that you wouldn't survive. But I'm here to tell you that God is real. And he's with you today. He hasn't left you. He's by your side. And what he's getting ready to do is what he did for Elijah. And he's getting ready to provide. He's getting ready to send people to meet you along your way. I prepared myself to die, y'all. But today we have a funeral for the spirit of Jezebel and for every spirit assigned to your destinies that are trying to take you off of the course that God has set you on. If you have those items, please bring them and just drop them in the trash. Burn, 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 burn. Burn, shete, riban soya. Burn in the name of Jesus. When you drop it, tell it to burn, shete, raman saya. Every relationship that you did not ordain, burn in the name of Jesus. All sadness, all grief, burn now in the name of Jesus. Discouragement, heaviness, burn, shete.
Chete. Burn, 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 burn. Hey. Burn, burn it up, God. Burn it up, God. Burn up the worry. Burn up the strife. Burn up the sickness. Burn it up, God. Hey, burn it up. Every, every dependence, not on you, but on man. Burn it up today. Security, burn it up. Every hidden thing, burn it up. Cause the fire of God to consume, to consume, to consume what's on the altar. My flesh is on the altar today. Oh, Father, burn it up. Burn it up. trying to take us. Oh, I give you my children. I give you my mind. I, I give you my heart, God. I give you my desires. Oh, Father, purify our desires on today, oh God. Oh, Father, we've been low today, God, asking your fire to consume. Oh, Father, the brokenness. Oh, Father, we release your healing in this place. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, I thank you that as Elijah was on a journey, so are we. Oh, Father, I thank you that after this assignment, that the prophets would not go into hiding, but know that Jezebel has already been defeated. Oh, Father, everything that kept us stagnant, everything that kept us standing in the place of unproductiveness, everything that caused us to be hidden in shame. Oh, God, we believe your word that you'll give us beauty for ashes. So we say take it. We say take the guilt. We say take the shame. We say take the disappointment. Oh, Father, uncover it in us. Oh, God, there's somebody sitting in here that says, I don't have anything to burn. But, Father, I ask you now to uncover the hidden things, God, the hidden things in our hearts, oh, God, the things that we try to hide, the things that we cover up with titles, the things that we cover up with clothing and makeup. Oh, Father, expose it today. Oh, cause the Ruach of God to blow. Oh, Father, as the winds are blowing, new life is being released, oh God. A life that's submitted to you. A life of victory. A life. Aligned with your purpose and your plan. A life void of disappointment. Prophet, can you hear me the Bible? Hallelujah. I just want to pray God's word if y'all don't mind. I'm praying Isaiah 61. <laughs> and it says, the spirit of the Lord was upon me. <laughs> oh, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings. Oh, God, thank you for anointing us to preach good tidings. Oh, we didn't come with a rebuke today, but we came with good news that the Lord is going to extend your life. We came with good news today that the Lord is placing you on the road to your assignment. My Lord Jesus, oh, he's anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted. Every broken heart, receive your healing tonight. Oh, God, I thank you that even now, as we go forward in what you've assigned us to do, that the broken places are being healed. <laughs> oh, God, I thank you for pulling away the things that you did not design to stay. Oh, God, I proclaim liberty to every captive in this building now in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, every prison door be open. Oh, my God, I don't know who needs to hear this, but woman of God, you will stand when that man leaves. You'll stand. Yeah, some of y'all waiting for the divorce. Guess what? You're sitting in a prison that God has ordained you to walk.
walk out of. He said, the door is open. Set yourself free today. God's love is the banner over you this morning. My God, to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn. You think our God ain't going to take vengeance on those that have gone against his will for you? Father, we call the vengeance of God to work on behalf of your sons and your daughters in this place on today. Oh God, I thank you that the vengeance of the Lord, Father, release your right hand to go before them now in the name of Jesus. Oh God, I thank you. I thank you that you have appointed us to mourn. Oh, but you're giving us beauty for ashes. Oh, to everything there is a season. And Father, we're walking into the season of the beautiful. We're walking into the season of the restored. We're walking into the season of the remnant. We're walking into the grace of God that we've never seen before. Even the children. I just see the Lord doing something in the minds and the hearts of the children. Oh, Jesus. It's a little, I don't know if you're a little girl, but a young lady with a bun back there. I see the glory of the Lord all upon you. And I pray right now that you begin to see. Father, open her eyes to who you've called her to be. Oh, I speak life to you, baby. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, I put a fire hedge of protection around her that the enemy may not touch her. Oh, Father, I thank you that she shall remain pure. I thank you, God that you have ordained her before the foundations of the world. Oh, God, I thank you that she's peculiar. I thank you for the difference that she will make in this world. Oh, Father, point your scepter in her direction. Oh, the anointing of Esther is upon you, baby. The Lord says, ask him what you want. Sweetheart, ask the Lord what you want, because he's going to do it. Ask him for what you want. Sometimes we don't want to ask. We think we're too young to ask, but ask the Lord what you desire. Oh, Father, let it be in your will. Align her desires and her wants to be in line with your will. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and they shall build the old waste, and they shall rise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the way cities. Oh God, we thank you for repairing us. We thank you, oh God, that desolation shall not come upon our generation. Oh God, and the strangers shall stand and feed their flocks and the sons of the aliens shall be their plowmen and their vine dressers. But ye shall be named the priests of the Lord. Men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. For you, shame, for your shame, I'm sorry, you shall have double. double. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm looking forward to it. If you ever had to walk through a season of shame, Darrell, then you look for your devil. Oh, Father, crown us with our double in this season. Oh, God, I thank you. Oh, God, that for confusion, therefore, oh, God, we rejoice in our portion. Therefore, in their land they shall possess the double, everlasting joy. Father, release the oil of joy upon this house, oh, God. Oh, Father, even on Bishop in her absence, Father, let the oil of joy run over her like never before oh God I thank you I thank you that you are a God that loves judgment and you hate robbery for burnt offerings so you will direct our path to work in truth and you'll make an everlasting covenant with us oh don't you know that his covenant is everlasting that nothing that he's promised you will fall to the wayside God I thank you that the promises over their lives are still yes and amen Yes and amen for you, for you, for you. Yes and amen for you. Say your name. Yes and amen for Leah. Yes and amen for you. Call your own name today. Yes and amen. He didn't forget you. 
Woman of God, I'm, I, the Lord just wants you to know you are not forgotten. You are not forgotten. It may be some things that have been on the altar for a very long time. Some of them will come to pass in a way that you don't even desire, but it will be for your good. Yeah, yeah. And there's a strength and a might of the Lord that's upon you. The might of the Lord. For you to be able to endure when he does this thing that he's going to do that you've been praying about and it don't go the way that you thought it would, you'll have the strength to endure. Yeah. And I touch and agree with you now because that's my anointing. Because nothing went the way I planned, but I'm still standing. Victory be unto you in Jesus' name. Oh, my God. I'm finishing this up. Let me get out the way. But, but it says, and their seed shall be known among the Gentiles and their offspring among the people. All them that see them shall acknowledge them. We don't do this to be acknowledged, but guess what? The world about to acknowledge you because you walk in holiness, because you're walking upright, because you're doing what God has called you to do. Oh, Jesus. And all shall acknowledge them that they are the seed of which the Lord has what? Blessed. Oh, Jesus, thank you for us being the seed of what you bless. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall be joyful in my God, for he hath clothed me with garments of salvation. I think somebody need to change their clothes on today. You came in with a garment of heaviness, but he's getting ready to put on you a garment of praise. I came in with grief, y'all. Oh, my God. But God, I thank you. <laughs> oh, that the joy my strength. When I thought I didn't have anything, you pulled something out. Oh, your word. We love your word, God. It says, oh, I will greatly rejoice in the Lord for my soul shall be made joyful. Oh, he hath covered me in garments of salvation and the robe of righteousness as a bridegroom decketh himself with ornaments and as a bride adorneth herself with jewels. For as the earth bringeth forth her bud and as the garden causes the things that are sown in it to spring forth, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring forth before all the nations. God, I thank you that your righteousness is springing forth in this house. God, I thank you that everything that they've placed in here to be burned, oh, that the fire of the holy God would consume it now in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you that as I begin to touch it as a demonstration of my faith, oh God, hey, that you're burning it up. Oh, God, we thank you that the fire of God, oh, it purifies. We thank you, oh, God, that every spot on their garments has been washed whiter than snow today. Oh, God, I thank you that shame has been destroyed by fire. I thank you, oh, God, oh, God, that every demon assigned to their mantles. Hey, namashe. Oh, my God. Woo. Every demon assigned to their mantles. Because see, oh, Jesus. Oh, Lord Jesus. Woo. If you carry the love of God, then you got to feel rejection so that you can know how to give the love. If you find your place lacking love and you're, you're, you're on the outside of everything, it's because he want to pull you closer. See, I didn't realize that when I was called and I didn't have the approval of my father, I had to walk my thing out by myself. I said, Lord, I know what you placed inside of me, but I don't look like the other preachers in my family. I'm a third generation woman of God, but guess what? They didn't call me that. Oh, but God, I thank you that the anointings and the mantles that you have placed on their lives before the foundations of the world are being uncovered even now. Oh, this is an unearthing for God's treasures. I call you forth now in the name of Jesus. Everything that's been locked up, I pull it out now in the name of Jesus. I pull it out. Everything that you buried, everything that you were scared to bring forth, I pull it out now in the name of Jesus. I pull it out. 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 I 
There is a grace for you to walk forward. There is, oh my God, there is a grace for you to walk forward. You didn't fail, says the Lord. You didn't fail. You did not fail. You did not fail. Woman of God with the gray sweater in the back, you did not fail. You did not fail. The devil is a liar. Oh, Father, I thank you that today, when we leave this place, we will not be the way we came. Father, I pray a special blessing over the visionaries of this day. Oh, Father, I hold their arms up, God. I pray that you would continue to fortify them as they go forward in prayer, oh, God. Oh, Father, I thank you that they're teaching people by the thousands to pray, oh, God. I thank you, oh, God, that the mantle on their life, oh, God, is being passed daily as you've assigned them to do. Father, we give your name the glory. We give you the praise and we give you the honor. We bless you today, God. We honor you today, Lord Jesus. Oh God, we thank you for the Isaiah 61 anointing that will be upon 2023. Oh God, we look for you. We look for you to show evidence of what you said. We look for you to uncover the hidden thing. We to their destinies. Oh, Father, blow their minds, God. <laughs> oh, blow their minds, God. We thank you for the walking miracles in this house. Oh, it's in Jesus' name we pray. Oh, with thanksgiving, would y'all thank him for what he's getting ready to do. Thank him for what took place just now. Oh, Father, thank you. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. Come on, let's rest to your feet. Come on and give our God the glory. He is worthy of it all. He is worthy of it all. From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, the name of the Lord is worthy. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We ascribe to the Lord his glory. We ascribe to the Lord his glory. We ascribe to the Lord his glory. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. We bless your name, God, for you are worthy of all of the glory and all of the honor and all of the praise. It belongs to you both now and forever, God. Yeah. Oh, 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 revive us, Lord, revive us, Lord, revive us, Lord, revive us, Lord, revive us, revive us, revive us. Let that be your cry. Revive us, revive us, revive us, revive. Transform us, transform us, transform us, transform us, transform us, transform us, and renew us, renew us, renew us, come on, be renewed by the renewing of your mind, renew us, renew us, renew us, come on, refine Refine by your fire. Refine by your fire. Refine us. Refine us. Refine us. Refine us. Refine us. Refine us by your fire. Down at the altar. Refine us. 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 Refine
refine us. Refine us. Refine us. Refine us. Oh, name of Jesus, lift it high. Lift it high. Lift it high. The name of Jesus, lift it high. In this place, the name of Jesus, lift it The sound of an army horizon. I hear the sound of an army horizon. I hear of an army horizon. I hear the sound of the army horizon. I hear the sound of an army horizon. I hear the sound of an army horizon. I hear the sound of the army horizon. I hear the sound of the army horizon. Come on, get loose to this presence. Get loose to this presence. If you gotta move out your seat, lose yourself. It is glory. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Let your glory rise. Let your power rise. Let your spirit rise. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Right here in this place. Right here in this place. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Rise up. Spirit break out, heaven come down. Spirit break out, heaven come. Spirit break, spirit break, out. heaven come down. Spirit break, spirit break, break out now. Spirit break, spirit break out. 
There's something about the agreement of prayer and the unity in the body of Christ. We see in Acts chapter 2, when they were all on one accord, the spirit erupted like wildfire. What I want us to do in this moment, in your way, move out your seat, whatever you got to do. On the count of three, we are going to go crazy in this place because God has been good, God has been faithful, and we need the fire of God to burn on the altar. Whatever we have placed in his way, he's going to singe up. He's going to burn it up in the name of Jesus. So on the count of three, I want you to lose yourself. Are you ready? Come on. One, two, three. Everybody worship. moment and receive. Receive of the Lord. Receive of the Lord. Receive of the Lord. With the lifting of hands, with the opening of your mouth, and receive the fire of the Lord. We want them to burn away. Burn away anything that's not like you.
Let the cry of the people fill this room. Let the cry of the people fill this tabernacle. Come on, release. Release it now. Release it now. Come on, we called it out. Now release it in the fire. We called it out. Now release it in the fire. Whether it's depression, whether it's grief, whether it's suicide, release it now in the fire. Come on, release, oh God. Release on every intercessor. Release on the pastor. Release on the bishop. Release on the apostles. Release on the elders. Release on us. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. got some releasing to do. Come on. Come on. Don't die out. Release. Don't die out. Release. We give it all to you. We give it all to you. We give it all to you. Let's go. Let's go. We give it all to you. Oh, we give it all to you. Come on, cry. We give it all Whatever it is, whatever it is, we give it all to you. We give it all, we give it all, we give it all to you. We give it all to you. Give it all to you. Not my will, but your will be done. We give it all. We give it all to you. Not my agenda, but your plan. We give it all. We give it all to you. Not my direction, but your blueprint. We give it all. Give it all to you. Oh, we give it all to you. Take my life, take my 
holy. You are 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 holy. And you want me holy. And you want me holy. And you want me holy. assistance can I just hear the voices of the worshipers come on with no music let me just hear the voices of the worshipers come on let's hear the voices of the worshipers come on the voices of the prayer warriors come on come on there's none like him there's none before him we can't outlive him and we can't live without him. Lift up your heads, all ye gates. Hey, hey. And be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. Hey, the Lord mighty. Lift up your heads, all ye gates. And be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Who is this king of glory? The Lord of, the Lord of hosts. He is the king of glory. Praise the Lord. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Praise him with the string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the high sounding cymbals. Praise him upon let everything that have breath. Praise the Lord is my light. He is my salvation. And of whom shall I fear? He is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? He even when my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fell. The war should rise against me, and this will I not fear. Let you look at somebody and say, neighbor, the Lord is here. 
Now with the music, with the trump, with the instruments, I want you to lift your voice and give God a sabbat praise right here. Come on, the door, Santa Tibi. Rakanda door, Samai. Yanda de 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 ba 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 satoko. Yetende rasonda. Yende de be katosai. Come on, redeemed. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so from the four corners of this building. Open up your mouth and release a sound of praise in the house. Sato. Angels are descending. I feel you in the Bohosa. The angels are descending. The angels are. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all, let all the earth be silent before him. Angels bow down before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God. I need praise on every row. I need praise on every row. Yende da Casato. There's a wraparound in the room. Uh, there it is. There it is. The glory's in the room. The king is here. The king is here. The king. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We tell you yes. We tell you yes. Yes to your will. Yes to your will. Forgive us for rebellion. Forgive us for stepping out of your will. Forgive us for not walking in your way. Father, arise in this place. Let the Lord arise and his enemies be scattered. Satan, the blood of Jesus is a Against you now. You got no power here. You got no residence here. Let the redeemed manda kosata yetoba babanda kosia. Open up your mouth and release glory. You're the most high. Yeah, 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 that's it leave your seat healing is in the room joy is in the room restoration is in the room glory is in the room wow. yes yes we restore you. You are the God of gods. You are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are Alpha and Omega. You are the beginning and the end. You are the first and the last. You are not like you. There's none before you. We give you glory. With no music, open your mouth and shout glory. Yeah, 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 listen, listen, Woo. my assignment today, hallelujah, my assignment today, there is a grace on my life to release the glory of God, do me a favor, just grab somebody by the hand and say, glory's in the room. No, 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 no. I need you to grab a neighbor by the hand and I need you to feel their anointing when you grab their hand. And I need you to shout, the glory is in the room. Oh, I need you to hold that neighbor's hand and shout, glory is in the room. Yeah, yeah. Yes. He's in the room. He's in the room. Something in your belly should start leaping. Something in your spirit should start leaping. Something in your belly should start moving. The glory of the Lord is in this holy temple. Wait a minute. Listen. 
hear me? I'm not going to distract this move, but I've got to come through here. So let me do my assignment and get out of here. But our assignment as a teacher's how to pray ministry. I'm an honorary member. They may not know it or not, but I'm honorary. Because I realize that can't nothing move God like prayer. And for some of you, you have to understand that some of you are not just prayer warriors. You are intercessors. And let me say this for all of you intercessors in the room. The reason why your attack has been great is because as an intercessor, your assignment is to intercept. Your job is to come in between what the Lord said and what the devil's trying to do. And as an intercessor, you stand in between and tell the devil, I know what God said. And what you're trying to release don't match what God said. I need every intercessor to shout, I'm an intercessor. Wait a minute. The scripture, hallelujah, the scripture declares we've been assigned to this room under 1 Kings chapter 18. The Bible says, woman of God, that he told the Baal people, call on your God and I'll call on mine. And whichever God answers by fire he will be God look at somebody and say neighbor this fire don't need no gasoline all I gotta do is open my heart and whatever's in me that need to be burnt up the glory of God's gonna get it up I need about 50 screamers to just start screaming on your row like you know glory is coming. Hey, 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 hey. Shuttle. Wait a minute. And the scripture declared that they called on their God after they built him an altar. And when they did not get a response, DJ, they started cutting themselves because they must have thought their blood was going to summons their God. But the God I serve, I summons his blood. My blood, prophet is precious, ain't got nothing in it. But his blood, it reaches to the highest mountain. It still flows to the lowest valley. Look at somebody say, it's still the blood. Listen to me. And their God did not answer. Touch somebody say, no answer. And the scripture declared that Elijah rebuilt an altar and the reason why people of God hear this he had to rebuild it because unbelievers built it first idol worshipers had built an altar first so now it's time for the real believers to build God an altar I want you to do something prophetically very quickly just start gathering the things you need for your altar start gathering the things that you are getting ready to build God an altar I gotta move everything out so I can put the right stuff in and brothers and sisters I'm done here he rebuilt God an altar let me see if I can find my church and he asked for something that was scarce he asked for water How can you ask for water in a drought? This is for about 13 of you. God said, I'm about to give you what's not available. 
because of your sacrifice you've been looking for something and God said I'm going to give you what's not even available bring me water and he put it around the altar then he got the stones around the altar to represent the tribes of Israel Prophet Tim, the Holy Ghost said to me en route to Philadelphia, he said, tell everybody in there that today one of those stones represent your family. Because some of you have been on the altar asking God for something, but he said, since you rebuilt me an altar, bring me a stone to represent you. I want you to bring me a stone that represents your family. Then... He said to me, read it brightly, water was around and made trenches. And then the scripture said that Elijah called on his God. I heard he is the God of Abraham. Heard he's the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. I heard there is no limitless supplies that can see his shoreless supplies. I heard that he's August unique, unparalleled, unprecedented. I heard it's good we choose to call him. I heard that he's the only one qualified to be an all-sufficient. I heard that he supplies strength for the weak. I heard he supplies strength for the weak. He's available for the tempted. He sympathizes and he saves. He strengthens and sustains. He guards and he guides. He heals sick. He cleanses lepers. He forgives sinners. He discharges debtors defends the feeble, blesses the young, serves the unfortunate. I heard he's the highway of holiness. He's the gateway of glory. He's the doorway of deliverance. He's the pathway of peace. Look at somebody say, that's my God. Now, 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 the scripture says, wait a minute, musicians, don't push me. I'm coming to get you. Because there's a dance in this room. But I got to get through this. Give me two seconds. I promise we're going there. And uh, somebody say, and. and the scripture declared that he called on God and just like Pentecost, he came down by fire. The scripture said that, and this is what the Lord told me to tell you, and that's it. That's it. And the fire fell. <laughs> I'm going to say it again to this side. And the fire. And the fire fell. And the fire fell. That is the only thing the Lord told me to tell this room. He said, and the fire fell. But wait a minute, prophet is precious. Wait a minute, teach me how to pray. The Lord showed me something. He said the only reason why I brought fire was because water was available. Wait a minute. Wait, wait. What you mean, Brantley? Because my Bible told me that John baptized with water. So the reason why the altar got water on it is because we've been washed. Look at somebody say, I've been washed. Nope, that was the wrong neighbor. Tell somebody, I've been washed. So what's really going on today is not only did you rebuild an altar, but you bought the water you were baptized in. As a reminder to the devil that when God took me down, he got me back up. And once I went down in the water, watch this, brothers and sisters, it was a beacon for your fire. Because water always is what is used to put out the fire. But what happens when fire puts out the water? And the scripture said, and the fire fell. And the Bible says, he lit up the water 
may I suggest to you that on Pentecost, he didn't just sit, he licked them. I know you're not going to accept that because you don't like that kind of talk. But every now and again, I need God to scoop me up. And so I only got a few minutes to pray. And I want to pray just for the fire. Now, this is what I need you to do. And somebody said it earlier, my sister, this is going to cause for participation. I need you to grab a neighbor by both their hands. Uh Uh-oh, it's about to get messy. It's about to get real bad in here. It's about to get bad. And I'm done, Prophet, as precious. I did my assignment. If you got to put your Purell on, put your Purell on. If you got to put your oil on your hand, do what you got to do. But I want you to grab a neighbor by both their hands. Ain't no COVID in here anyway. It's too much glory for COVID to show up. (laughs) And if you had it before you got here, guess what? It's gone now. (laughs) Grab that neighbor, and I want you to look them dead in their eyes. Say, neighbor, all I want for you to do is pray for my fire. Can I release this word to those of you that will receive it? God said many of you are going to get your fire back today. Because many of you have lost your fire and desire to do the will of, hey, to do the will of the Father. But the Holy Ghost told me today, he said, today you're going to get your fire back. Somebody shout, fire! Now, musicians, I want you to flow with me real quick. I want you to give me that war sound. I don't, I might, yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. I want you to give me that. And for the next two minutes, your assignment is to pray for your neighbor's fire. And listen to me, if your neighbor fall out, get on the floor with them and make sure they got their fire back. Let's start praying, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for your glory. We thank you for your power. Now, Father, this aggregation of people have gathered in this room, Father, to rebuild the altar. Father, you have used the intercessors before me. You have used the musicians. You have used the singers before me. But, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I decree and declare that your fire will fall like it did on the day of Pentecost. Father, as I'm holding my neighbor's hand, I reactivate, I recolor, I cultivate. In the name of the Lord Jesus, every prophetic gift, I recultivate. Every intercessor gift, I recultivate, I reactivate. Every gift in their spirit, and I bind lukewarmness, and we replace it with the fire of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus, God, let your fire fall in this room right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let your wind blow the fire into our hearts. Let the fire blow in our spirits. Let the fire blow in our money. Let the fire blow in our spirit. Let your fire consume in fire. Take over our souls. In the name of the Lord Jesus, yes, Lord, we give you another yes. Let this fire Stir up in us so bad. Let it burn. Let it burn. Let it burn. Let it burn. Burn in our hearts. Burn in our minds. In the name of Jesus. Set us on fire. Set us on fire. In the name of Jesus. Oh God. We need you to do it for your glory. We need you to do it for your way. Have your way in the name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, let your power, let your glory fill this room. In the name of Jesus, everything that's been dead, we speak resurrection fire. In the name of the Lord, and we give you a yes, a yes out of our spirit, yes out of our soul. We give you a yes, yes, Lord, with tears in our eyes. We bless you for the fire and we decree and declare that this fire will burn up this fire will consume and we praise you and we praise you and we give you glory yes 
Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. You got 30 more seconds to pray for that neighbor's time. You got 30 more seconds. Satan de Bekota. Yes. Come on, come on. You got 10 more seconds. Yeah, yeah, the double. Uh oh. I see some of y'all going down. I see some of y'all going down in this Holy Ghost. Oh! Burn! Let your fire fall when your name is called. Yes! Jesus, we call on your God. Burn away, oh God. Burn away, oh God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We call on your God. We call on your God. We call on the fire that leaves evidence. We call on the fire that leaves evidence. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fire. We call on you. Fire. We call on you. Let it ignite. Let it ignite. In the name of Jesus, let it ignite. Oh God, oh God, oh God, stir, oh God, in the name of Jesus, let your fire rekindle, let your fire rekindle, in the name of Jesus, let it reignite. Heavenly Father, fire for, fire for, fire for, fire for, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, release your fire that is contagious. Release your fire that is contagious, that is intangible, oh God. In the name of Jesus, that is tangible, oh God. In the name of Jesus, we call on your fire. We call on fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire. Like on the day of Pentecost, let your fire fall. Let it fall. And let it spread out. Let it fall. And let it break out. Let it break out. Let it break out. In the name of Jesus, let it leave evidence that you live here. Let your fire leave evidence that you dwell here. In the name of Jesus. Release your fire. 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 Holy fire. Holy fire. Holy fire. Holy fire. Holy fire. Holy fire. The fire that is right. That fire that purifies. That fire that refines. In the name of Jesus, we call on the fire that is inside of us. And we say, fire. Meet fire. Fire. Fire, meet fire and let it burn in the name of Jesus, igniting us that passion, igniting us that desire that longs to burn for you in the name of Jesus. Help us, Father. Help us, Father. Help us, Father. Help us, Father, to be fueled by your fire, to be charged by your fire in the name of Jesus. 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 We walk for the fire. We walk for the fire. We press for the fire. We press for the fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
Fire, 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 let it fall, let it revive, revival fire, revival fire, revival fire, revival fire that retouches, revival fire that reignites, revival fire that purifies, revival fire that sanctifies, revival fire, revival fire, come down, come down, come Come down, come down, for we call on the God who answers by fire to show up and show out in the name of Jesus, 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 produce the fire, Jesus, produce fire, Jesus, produce fire, Jesus, we call on your God. Fire, 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 burn, 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 in the name of Jesus, the fire that singes up, the fire that singes up was not like you, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, burn away, burn away, burn away, burn away, we need the fire to fall down like rain, in the name of Jesus, baptize us in your fire, Baptize us in your fire, submerge us in your fire, purge 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 us in the fire, in the name of Jesus, 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 we won't stop calling on him, we won't stop calling on you, we won't stop calling on you, fire, 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 fire. Fire, 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 Fire fall, fall on your people, fall on the pastors, fall on the evangelists, fall on the elders, fall on the bishops, fall on the pastors. Fire fall, we all need fire, we all need fire, we all need fire. Woo! Fire fall on the hierarchy. Fire fall on us. Fire fall on us until the programs change. Fire fall on us until agendas change. Fire fall on us in the name of Jesus. Fire fall on us in the name of Jesus. And like the Levites, we will follow your fire. Like the Levites, we will follow your fire. Where your leaders will go up in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Fire fall. Fire for her. Fire for her. Fire for her. Fall on the ministers. Fall on the praise team. Fall on the minstrels. Fall on the children. Fall on the children. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We pray for the next generation. We pray for the next generation. Let the fire ignite. Let the fire ignite. So then when fire meets fire, it purifies. It sanctifies. And it spreads like wildfire. Fire in the name of Jesus. Fire, 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 fire. Baptize us in your fire. Baptize us in your fire. Baptize us in your fire. Burn away. Burn away. Burn away and burn well, burn away, and burn well, burn away, and burn well, in the name of Jesus, 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 we agree, we agree, we agree, we will be charged by your fire, we agree to the ignition of your fire, we agree to the plan that is produced from your fire, in the name of Jesus. 
Jesus. I'm done. I'm done. But can you do me one favor? Just look at your neighbor and say, I feel the fire burning. I don't know if y'all remember this song. I ain't no singer. But they said it like this. I feel the fire burning. Come on, where the saints at? I said, I feel the fire burning. Come on, let me hear you. I feel the fire Way down, way down in my soul. If you're talking about, come on, if you're talking about Jesus, come on, let me hear, lift your hand. If you're talking about Jesus, he's a friend, he's a friend of, of mine. Clap your hands real fast. One more time. One more time. Clap your hands real fast. Come on. I feel the fire burning. Come on. Let me hear you. Glory to God. I feel the fire burning. Come on, saints. I feel the fire. Way down. Way down. In my in my soul clap your hands real fast yeah 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 i said clap your hands real fast like the devil's in between them shout yes lord clap your hands real fast shout yes lord clap your hands real fast shout yes lord shout yes lord hey shout yes lord all right y'all can be seated uh, ow. Be seated. I'm my chateau. Be seated, please. I'm done. It's my segment's over. Be seated, y'all. Sit down. Don't wave your hand like that. Be very careful. Okay? Be very careful. Don't, mother, don't wave at me. Uh-uh. Don't wave. Listen. Because you start waving, you're going to start fanning fire. Uh-uh. Stop. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. What you doing? What you doing? Uh-uh. Don't you wave that. Don't, don't you do it. Don't you do it. Look at somebody say, that's fire over here. Yeah. Oh, there's fire over here. There's fire over here. There's fire over here. There's fire over here. There's fire. Well, there's praise in the room. Go ahead and give it to him. Every 
everybody, everybody clap go. Well, if you're going to praise him, praise him. If you're going to praise him, praise him. Yes! Everybody clap, you I created your hands to war and your fingers to fight. Clap your hands. We're the intercessors that know how to clap. Clap your hands up in the air like you got victory. Come on, 60 more seconds. Everybody clap. I said, clap your hands of injury. How? Oh! Clap your hands for victory. Come on, clap your hands for victory. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Clap your hands and shout glory! Be seated. Somebody just shout, the fire fell. So tomorrow when you go to your church, be a fire starter. Some of you, the fire ain't falling your church in months. I know you don't want to say amen, but some of you are sitting in a church that the glory has almost departed. But the Holy Ghost said, when you go to church tomorrow, start a fire. I don't care if it's in the middle of the announcements. Let the announcement be, there's a fire over here. I don't care if it's in the middle of the benediction. Start a fire in your church. Bring your gasoline with you and start your fire in your church. Y'all do me one favor, and I'm giving this mic up. I want y'all to, the, the road that you're on, put your hands on the bench. You're going to be an agent right now. They're going to say, what is going on over there at Open Door? They said, baby, the doors are on fire. Oh, you don't need to call the FDNY. We all right. We good. You ain't got to call the fire department. That fire always burning. Look at somebody say, this fire, you can't put this out. Do me a favor, hold on to that bench and say, Lord, let this, let this seat stay on fire. Every person that show up to church, let the seat be on fire. Just like Jeremiah. It's like fire shut up in my bones. I can't stop dancing. I can't stop moving because I'm on fire.
fire, the fire of God's anointing, the fire of God's power. Yeah, God, the fire. Yeah, God, we thank you, we thank you. Hallelujah. 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 We thank you, God, for your fire. And we ask you, Lord, we're going to stay right in this flow. This is a time for giving. This fire that has been placed here, we want to give y'all an opportunity to sow into it, to sow into the fire and the anointing that is here with the Teach Us to Pray ministry. Because when you sow, you have the ability to activate something else in your life, the ability to activate fire on another level. You give, and it will be given unto you. That's part of the principles of God, of his word, that when we give and when we sow, we will reap a harvest. So we want to give you an opportunity to sow into this fire. We don't want to make it long. We don't want to make it long. So for those of you who have your electronic devices, you can sow at Cash App. Teach us to pray. The number two pray. Teach the number two pray. For those of you who are watching live, you will see it on your screen. You can use your QR code. Some of you are here. You can use your QR code. Put your phone up to it. In the back, you can do the cam, the uh, TV screen if you need to. The cash app for PayPal. If you would like to sell with PayPal, that is teach us to pray, the number two pray, at gmail, six at gmail.com. Again, that is teach us to pray, number two pray, number six at gmail.com. And we always take good old fashioned cash if you want it here. We can sew, we gotta get a basket. We're gonna get you a basket. Hallelujah, fire, 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 fire. Yes, the basket will be coming and you will have the ability to be able to sew into this ministry. Hallelujah, Father God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, the fire. My God, we're going to stay in this flow. We're going to stay in this flow. Hallelujah, God. All right. When Precious comes back out, if it comes a little later, we can give it. You can still give it throughout the service. Don't be afraid to give it out throughout the service. All right. Hallelujah. It's locked. Okay. Yep, that works. Good old offering plate. <laughs> All right, so for those of you who want to be able to give, we're going to ask that you will be able to walk. You can come give your offering and be good. And um, for those of you who are in this aisle, we ask everybody to go this way and come down the front. Everybody in this direction, I got no trying to get my usher flow. Go this direction and come down to the front. <laughs> and um, for those who are on the side, you can also stand and come out this direction as well. Starting in the back. Sorry, starting in the back, in the rear. Yep, honorary ushers, help us out. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, God, the fire. Let it fall. Hallelujah. quick scripture. I'm going to read a quick scripture for y'all. Yes, God, glory, glory, glory. 
This is 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. 14 through 15. Now, this is the confidence that we have in him, my God, that if we ask anything, is it some things? Nah, anything. Not a little bit of things, but anything. If we ask anything according to his will, is it our will? His will, his will, he will hear us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we have asked of him. We have the petition of that thing that we asked for. So today, we have been asking God to burn it up. We have been asking God to build us with fire. We have been asking God to pour out, to deliver us. And so we know because we asked it and it is, his will, it is in his will that he will do it. So today, the rest of this afternoon, we can know that it's done. It's already done. The fire that has come upon us, it's already done. So make sure you activate your faith. Activate it in the name of Jesus. I don't care what the enemy says to you when you go home. After you leave this service, put the word on it. Put the word on it. First John chapter 5. Put the word on it. It is already done because you asked him and it was in his will. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord. So we ask for your fire. We ask for it in the name of Jesus. And we just thank you. We praise you right now, Father. Hallelujah. 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 y'all amen we, we're just gonna maybe shift a little bit and just shake some things off a little bit and I mean wow how do you even come after something like that I didn't know I was coming up here right now so we might as well just have a good time in Jesus you know I was growing up and they, these young people they don't you know they might have heard it They'd be like that's so old but they was like ain't no party like a Holy Ghost party <laughs> Because the Holy Ghost party just does not stop, right? <laughs> so let's just have some more of a Holy Ghost party. How about that? How about that? Let's just sing, Lord, you're mighty. How about that? Lord, you're mighty. I, I was listening to, to this preacher, this prophet, and it's so crazy because when I was home, this preacher prophet, yeah, I was, I was listening when I was home, and I kept hearing river flow, and I was hearing water, right? And then I kept hearing blow, wind, blow. And then I heard about fire, and I said, God, now what in the world? I said, blow wind and river flow and fire. I said, we're going to have a Holy Ghost tsunami up in the house. So I think it's like we having a Holy Ghost tsunami all up in the house. Providence Leia, I've been knowing this lady for years. She's a lady, y'all. She's a lady, right? And I'm so encouraged to see your growth. Yeah. I'm so encouraged to see your growth. I'm so grateful that you're still standing. It's all about encouraging each other, right? Because we in this fight together. <laughs> we in this fight together. I'm so glad you're still standing. Keep standing. Don't, 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 don't lose your stand. Keep holding on. Prophet Tim, he just want to come mess me up. Don't touch me no more. Yeah, don't touch me no more. <laughs> it's okay to laugh, y'all. We in church. We having a good time. And we're going to sing Lord Your Mighty. And I think I might even do a little mic toss because I got some folks up here with me that's strong, y'all. They strong. And I don't call people.
vocal background singers. They're my support singers. They support me, because this is not no show. This ain't no show. How about that? Say, Lord, you're mighty. 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 Hey, Lord, you're mighty. 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 Come here, Lord, you're mighty. 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 Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth. You set your glory above the heavens and the earth. When I think of all you made, the sun.
Shut up! 
a day, every day, most of her life. The last time she was in the hospital, she was in the ICU, two weeks, right before I got my diagnosis. This is what God did for us. I was her caregiver for 20-something years. Her and her sister, Sister Leia knows this. God flipped it. She hasn't been in the hospital since. She became my caregiver. Thank you, Lord. God knew what we needed when we needed it. Yes, thank you, Lord. And all we know is worship in my house. All we know is prayer. Because where would we be without the overwhelming, reckless love of God? Hallelujah. I don't deserve it. It's not about a show, y'all. It's about knowing what God has done. Yes, and knowing that it's the impossible things that only he could do. I once told my church that I used to ask God to see miracles, and I wanted to be a miracle, but I didn't realize I was asking for an impossible situation, because a miracle is something that only God can do, and I became an impossible situation, because I also said, for your glory, Lord, I'll do anything, and we don't know what anything is until anything happens. Amen. We don't know what anything entails until it happens to us in our lives. So I just want to encourage you that no matter what comes your way, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Don't let go. Bend your knees. Lay on your face. Cry out before the Lord. Surround yourself with the right people. 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 Make sure you have the right sources. The right sources. Because whatever you put in you is exactly what will come out of you. It's not what goes in a man that defiles him, 
but it's what comes out of his mouth. Amen. Speak the right words over your life. Amen. Speak the right words over your life. Amen. And today we say, I am healed. I am healed. Just say, I am healed. Come on. I am healed. Declare that. Come on, if you know that you are free, just lift your hands right here. I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free, I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. Yeah. Oh, I'm free, I am free. I am free. Glory to God. Can we stand all over the building right here? I just need you to 
to lift your voices right here. And I need you to say something to your father. I need you to cry out to God right here. If you know that there are no chains holding you in this moment, if there's no chains on your mouth, if there's no chains on your mind, lift up your voices and worship God. Lift up your voices and cry out to God. Oh, I am free. Oh, I am free. Oh, I am free. Oh, I am free. Whoa, I am free. I am. Hey, say I am free. Hey, say I am free. Hey, say I am free. Hey, I am free. Hey, I am free. Hey, I am free. I am free, no chains holding me, Atamandia, no chains holding me, no chains holding me, no chains holding me, that a man so tall I have a simple assignment from the Lord. I have a very simple assignment from the Lord. And what he wants me to tell you on today, today, he said, the angels have recorded your yes in the room. And I'm on soon he said, my angels are here and they have recorded your yes in the room. So what God is saying on you today, that beyond these walls, you still got to give me a yes. Beyond these walls, you still got to bow down before me. Beyond these walls, worship me. He says that I'm coming after your time. Can I talk to y'all? He says that I'm coming after your time. What does that mean? I'm coming after your time because I want to discipline you. In order for you to be a disciple of me, in order for you to truly rebuild and repair the altar, you must be disciplined in your flesh. He said, you must be disciplined. And I'm on sea. I'm trying to speak your He says, no longer will you follow me. You're not a follower. You're a disciple. Because followers, they seek for healing. But he says, my disciples seek for the healer. He did a man he said, you seek for the healer. The Bible says in Psalms 103 and 7 that Moses knew the ways of God, but the people knew his acts. Yeah. 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 He says, I'm coming after your time. He says that when you invest time in worship, and when you invest time in prayer, and when you invest time in me, he says that you invest it into eternity. Yeah. He says that your return is greater than your investment. Yeah. He says your return is greater than when you invested in the earth. Do I have any time investors in the room that said, God, I'll give you everything. God, if it costs me, I'll still give it to you.
you. God, if I have no friends, I'll still give it to you. Whatever you want, I give it, Lord. He says, he says, don't give me enough to ease your conscience. Give me enough to transform your life. He said that some have been giving me about 15 minutes before bed. And you did all you wanted to do all day long. <laughs> and when it came time for me, there was not enough for you to give the night. Hey, hey. He said there was not enough. You can take your seat because I I'm going to take my time just a little bit. I'm going to move fastly as well. He says, do not give me what's convenient. He said, y'all hear me? When we leave this place, we dance and we shout it and we fall on the floor. But he says, I'm looking at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm looking at every day your life. How much time are you investing into eternity? How much time are you worshiping me? How much time do you praise me? He says, let the repentance of your heart rise in the room because the truth of the matter is that God has been trying to discipline us for years. And for some of us, God said 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, we come into the house of God and we do what's familiar. Not about Surya. And he says, there is no change. Lord, who he says, when you leave here, the angels in this room, they have recorded your yes. I and I, he said, the angels in the room, they recorded your yes. And they brought the scroll back up to me. And then none of my Sudia. I seek if such to worship me in the earth. And the man Sudia. He said, I'm seeking such to worship. And what does that mean? He says, I'm seeking those in the earth that will worship me and spirit and in truth. He is spirit and he is truth. What is he looking for? He's looking for his reflection in your life. He says, I'm looking for my reflection when you leave these walls. Will you reflect my glory? He says, time. Give me my time. Do you hear what God is saying? Forget me. I know I'm standing here, but can you please hear God's voice calling? This is his overwhelming love to you. This is his love chasing you down. He says, I've been waiting on the Mansudia. I've been waiting for the time that you give everything else. I want my time with my children. I want my time with you. Okay. He says, I want my time with you. Can I share something with y'all? Can I be transparent with y'all? You can't so a year and a half ago a prophet stood me up in front of six hundred people and he said that God says I want three hours a day from you. And he and he asked me to agree 
And in front of six, in front of six hundred people, I made a covenant with God. It's been a rough. But I told God, I cannot be a wife. I cannot be a pastor. I cannot be a mother. I cannot be none of these things without giving you your time. You know about Sudie. I don't want none of it. I don't want the platform. I don't want you to leave here and know my name. I just want his glory. That has to be your heart. Do you understand that when the priest, when the priest would go before the people, they did it. Their whole entire life was centered around ministering unto God. Their whole entire life, their entire life, morning and evening sacrifices. Ah, yeah. And God said, sometimes I don't see you till three days, three days later after Sunday, four days later after you worship. I don't hear your voice in your closet. Monday. He says, my disciples pursue me with a high pursuit. Are you a follower or are you a disciple? He says, when the people stood afar off, Moses walked into the dark cloud. <sighs> Moses walked into the thunder. Moses walked into the mountain that seemed as if it was on fire. Why? Because Moses spent time beyond that place. And the other people was afraid of the natural phenomenon. But God says, I'm in the natural phenomenon. So when it's thunder outside, I'm speaking. Ask me what I'm saying. I'm the Bansuria. When things are happening around you, draw to me. When you look like you're in a dark season, it's just my shadow overshadowing you. Come to me. Draw to me. Lay before me. Worship me. Worship me. Hey. Hey. In India. What did Elijah do? The Bible says that he repaired the altar. If you look up that word repair, it means heal. Yeah. He healed the altar. But let me tell you, God didn't heal the altar. Elijah, a man like you and me, healed the altar. We have a responsibility to repair what is broken so that we can offer God a sacrifice to consume. Your responsibility, it's in your time to pray. He says, wake up. I've been calling some of you out your sleep, and you've been too sleepy. He said, some of you take, you have a half an hour lunch break, and you can give that to me in the Bansuria. You have a car drive home, you can give that to me in the Mansia. What am I looking for? I'm looking for everything you got. Give it all, give it all, give it all. God, we repent for not giving you all. God, we repent for putting you on the back burner. God, we repent and we lay before you and we say, wash us, cleanse us beyond the doors. His transforming power is here for those that want it. It's not about, listen to me, listen to me. It's when you leave the doors, y'all. This is when the real test is on because we get here and it feels good and we there's a hype and there's a love for God and there's nothing wrong with anything we did today. Please don't take what I'm saying wrongly. But God says there's two. Two, seeking after you. You're a target either way that you look at it. He says you're a target for heaven. 
uh, when you lay down your life for me. I'm targeting you to kill your flesh so that you can live in me. But then there's the enemy that's targeting you to destroy you, to sift you out, sweet. But I have prayed for you that your faith will not fail you. And I'm on you. Your faith cannot fail you. He said three things last forever, faith, hope, and love. And let me talk to you about faith in the room. When your faith rise and the aroma arise to God and you place yourself on the altar and you know that everything that you gave him, it cost you. When you break open that alabaster box that cannot be repaired after you break it open. When you break open your heart to me, when you lay out before me, can I just stop to say that God, he's saying I want you to lay out. Stretch out before me. Stretch out the mountain. Stretch out before me. I'm almost done. The basudia. Stretch out before me. Faith. It lasts for eternity. Faith will speak beyond your grave. Read Hebrews 11. Faith will go beyond your grave. Let your faith meet his goodness. Let your faith match his kindness. Will your faith rise in the room? Will your faith begin to rise in the room? Will your faith begin to rise? Let the aroma go to God's nostrils and ascend into our worship so that we know that you received us. Father, we repent. We repent. For every time you called us into a fast, and we were too hungry to fast. Every time we went about our daily activities, and we forgot you as if you did not exist. Oh, God, we repent. If I have a free, some few wellers in the room, if you can cry out to God and everybody in this place, all I need is a few to cry out with me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We repent. We cast down our crowns and we worship. We cast down our assignment. We cast down everything and we give it to you. We offer it to you. We repent, oh God. We had 24 hours in the day. Come on. Come on. Come on. This is the part where you make noise. This is the part where you break open your box. Lift up your sound in the room and cry out to God. Lift up your sound in the room and lament before him. Cry out to him. Oh, God, we're not giving you enough to ease our conscience, but we're giving you enough to transform our lives. Transform us. Transform us. Transform us. Transform us. Transform my mind, transform my will to convert to your will, transform us, rearrange us, renew us, restore us, freedom in the room, freedom in the room, no more chains, when you leave this place, no more chains, strike the ground until something chains, strike the ground until something shifts, strike the ground, and let's see hey. We lay ourselves on the altar. So that standing all over the building we won't be much longer 
The Spirit of the Lord is in this place. My assignment is clear, but I can't do this by myself. We were told that we're rebuilding the altar, yes. And so there was a particular scripture that came up and it's been nagging at me the entire time we were sitting here. Ezra 3 came before me and it talked about the rebuilding of the temple. But when you look at the first few verses, right before you get to the eighth verse, it talks about how before they rebuilt the temple, what they did after coming out of exile from Babylon was rebuild an altar. They rebuilt an altar and it says that they rebuilt the altar partially because of the fear of the people that were inhabiting the space that they used to inhabit. And when they rebuilt this altar, it said that they were rebuilding this altar because they were afraid, not just because um, of spiritual matters, but they were upset or afraid because once they rebuilt the altar, that would prove their presence back in their temple. We're going to rebuild altars today. And what your altar will signify is that you're taking a stand for the Lord in your sphere of influence, at your job, in your family. And so you cannot be a punk, if you will, about rebuilding altars because it's a stand that says, I am here to occupy and I am here to announce that the presence of the Lord dwells here and on top of that, that his children are coming home intercessors hear me very clearly not only were they afraid of the people because they had have inhabited times before they were afraid because they didn't know the spiritual climate of the people that had been there listen the children of israel were driven out of the temple the temple was destroyed because of their disobedience and their mixture of religion and so they were afraid because they had gotten mixed in with the other religions and the other spiritualities of the people around. And so they quickly established an altar to establish God culture. This isn't just about you. This is about the region. And so my assignment is clear. We're rebuilding altars. I'm going to drop down the text. If you go all the way down towards the end of chapter 3, it talks about how in the second month, I believe it says, that they began to build the foundation of the temple, and there went a loud shout. And it talks about how the people, it was so loud, but they could not discern the cries of the people. There were the older people, the older Levites, those that had been and known the temple in its former glory. They were weeping in sorrow. But there was the joy of the younger people who were excited about the temple being laid. If you do that text the due diligence, you'll find that the older generation and the Levites were probably sorrowful because they remember the temple in its older glory and that in this temple that was being by looking at the foundation, they knew that it was not going to be the same size as Solomon's temple. It wasn't going to be as big as the one that Solomon created. If, if we were in modern times, Solomon spent about almost $8 million dollars modern time building that temple and the temple that they were rebuilding wouldn't have been as grand on top of that if you do it a little further you'll see that the people the levites and the older generation they were weeping and they were sorrowful because they were old enough to remember the beauty of the temple but they were old enough to remember the sins of their nation that caused them to be driven out and so how many of us have walked up on what God called us back to and we remember what we fell in? When the Lord calls us to an assignment and the Lord tells us that it's time to pray and the Lord tells us that it's time to go before the people, we give up to him the last time we fell and all the reasons why we're unworthy. We're rebuilding altars, yes. But you'll notice after the rebuilding of the altar came the rebuilding of the temple. Here is what I'm here to declare into this region. The Lord has given us a mandate to rebuild altars because he is reviving his bride. There is no revival without prayer. There is no revival without intercession. There is no revival without fire. And there's no fire if it's not on the altar. And so what I need you guys to do is sober up very quickly. 
because the spirit of the Lord is here, one. Two, we're going to be rebuilding altars in our personal lives, but we're going for the region. We're going for the region. It says that there was a sound. <laughs> yes, Lord. There was a sound, and while they were dealing with the sorrow, they were also dealing with the joy. I don't have time to go into it, but I need you to understand that it said that the sound was heard from afar off. Here is the language of prayer that I'm going to give you, and then we're going to launch. Prayer, the, the language of God, it's not speaking in tongues. <laughs> The language of the spirit is not English, it's not French, it's not Spanish, it's not Hindu. What it is, is groanings and sighs. And so when the people lifted up a shout, what it did was communicate to heaven that they were there. And it allowed the plan of the Lord to come in. I'm reminded, if you will, I believe it's Exodus chapter 2. As a matter of fact, I'll read it because y'all don't believe me and you want Bible. Exodus chapter 2, yes, Lord. I don't know if y'all feel this, but he's creeping in here all the more. Exodus chapter 2, and I'm going to drop down to about the 23rd verse, and it reads, And it came to pass in the process of time. Didn't the woman of God just talk about time? In the process of time, I don't have time to labor there, but the point of the fact is that you are in the middle of a process and you have not yielded yourself to God because you're too busy being obscure. Uh, you're too busy looking at what the process is doing. This hurts too much. You're taking too much away from me. When I said yes, I didn't think that this would happen. I didn't think that you would take that. I didn't think that this, how, this is how it would go. You're in the middle of the process, but I've come to tell you if you would yield to the process, you'll see great reward. And it came to pass in the process of time that the king of Egypt died, and the children of Israel sighed by reason of the bondage. And they cried, and their cry came up to God, and by, by the reason of bondage, here's the blessing. And God, remember, God heard them and heard their groaning, and God remembered his covenant. This is why prayer is important. This is why groaning is important. It says that God heard the groans of the children of Israel and he remembered. And he remembered. And so tonight, I need you to shift yourself. We're getting ready to hit a pocket of groaning. The language of the spirit is not speaking in tongues. It's the fervent prayers of the righteous. It's the sighs. It's the groanings. You don't believe me. It says in Romans 8 that we have the Holy Spirit, which is our helper. Huh? When we don't know how to pray as we ought. You understand? With sighs, with utterances that can't be understood of men. So we're going to stand all over the building, breathe, in through your nose, out through your mouth, anchor yourself. We're breathing in the peace of God. We're exhaling the worries of life. We're breathing in the joy of God, and we're exhaling the frustration of our families. Come now, we anchor ourselves in higher planes, in deeper depths. Breathe. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. In through your nose. Out through your mouth. And would you do like Jude says, pray in the spirit and build yourself up as an edifice. Come on. Come on. Build yourself up as an edifice. Praying in the spirit. Mm -hmm. Come on, if you had the baptism of the Holy Ghost, would you pray in the spirit here and build yourself up. Imagine it as an edifice, brick by brick, layer by layer, window by window, door by door. Come on here. Zatova ba ya dova ba ya de ya da. Zatova manda va ba kod ya da banda leve be kubra da ya la deve be soya. He 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 he. Come on here, children. Hey, hey. 
They don't have, you don't have an organ at home. You don't have drums at home. But all you have is a sound out of your mouth and your spirit unto God. Come on, lift up your head, open your mouth and cry. Oh God, you are so dabaya. Oh God, it is the old bandelele behind. Yes, Lord. Come on, people of God. Put your passion on it. Put your fervor on it. And begin to cry out to the Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We don't pray according to our knowledge. We pray in the spirit. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Come on and groan, Amanda. So we grow. Hey, 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 hey. We grow. We grow. Hey, Amanda. She anoya bahaya. Hear the cry of your children. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. We're calling on you now. We're calling on your name, Jesus. We're calling on your name. You're the only one that saves. You're the only one that heals. You're the only one that delivers. We're calling on you, calling on you, calling on you. Master, would you come and see about us now? Hey, oh. Come in the room, Lord. Come on. Come on. I know this is a stretch for some of you, but you can't pray according to your flesh in this moment. You can't pray according to what you know. You got to pray in the spirit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on. Some of you are waiting in deep waters now. Come a little further. The Father invites you to come further. The Father invites you to come higher. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There it is. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We don't want what we want. We want what you want. Yes, Lord. We want you to save. Yes, Lord. We want you to heal. Yes, Lord. We want you to deliver. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes to your will. Yes, Lord. Yes to your way. Yes, Lord. Yes to your rebuke. Oh, Saban. Yes, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We give you a yes. We give you another yes. We give you a sober yes. Oh, 
ya mandala masora mandala bakura baya de ya do. We give you a yes here. Come on here, Father, in the name of Jesus. We open up our mouths and we give you another yes. 2022 has been such a year. It's knocked some of the wind out of us. Father, we've experienced great loss. We've experienced great turmoil. Father, we've experienced some pains that we never thought we'd encounter. But in the name of Jesus, we give you a sober yes. Yes, dear God, we declare that we will still serve you. Even in the face of affliction, in the face of infirmity, we stand here and we declare, yes, Lord, yes to your will, yes to your way. Come on here. Come on here. Come on here. We say yes. 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 yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We say yes. Come on, Shabaya. I want you guys to do yourselves a favor and build yourself up. We're going to hit prayer really strong. And once we hit a level in the pocket of prayer, you'll know what it feels like. I want you to take the brakes off and I want you to go for broke. Do you understand me? Do you understand we're going for another level of prayer? Come on, build yourself up in the Holy Ghost. Jesus, we the creation of your hand. We take the time to ascribe all glory and honor to your name. You are the most beautiful. You are the most holy. There is nobody like unto our God. You are the fairest of 10,000. You are the bishop of souls. You're the lover of our souls. Yeah. And we ascribe glory. We ascribe honor. We ascribe glory. We ascribe honor. We know not another God. God, hey, uh, there is no other God, uh, no other God before you, uh, not on the side of you, uh, none behind you. Uh, you exist in a class all by yourself. Uh, you are distinct in your deity. Uh, we know who you are, and we give you all glory. Uh, we give you all honor. Uh, we give you all praise. Uh, Father, uh, we lift up your name. Yeah, yeah, hey, hey, hey. We lift up your name. Uh, you said in your word, uh, if I, uh, if I be lifted it up. I'll draw all men unto me. Hey, and so we're asking God, draw us, draw us, draw us into healing, draw us into deliverance, draw us into your presence, draw us into your truth, draw us into revelation, draw us, yeah, draw us, yes, draw us, yes, draw us, yes, Father. In the name of Jesus, I'm asking that you would give us the wherewithal to weigh deep this afternoon. Give us the ability to weigh deep in your presence, deep in your waters, deep in your glory, deep in your mysteries. Yes, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you so very much because you are a God who is touched by the root of our infirmities. There is nothing that we encounter that you don't know, that you aren't familiar with. And so I'm asking, dear God, that your Jehovah Shalom, the God of peace would manifest himself. Manifest yourself in this room, dear God. Manifest yourself, not just around us, but the God of peace. Would you manifest in us? Yes. And we declare by the virtue of the fact that we are your sons and daughters, that the peace of God, the peace of God, the peace that surpasses all understanding, it guards our hearts. It guards our minds. It guards our hearts. It guards our minds. In the name of the Lord Jesus, though the wind come, though the rain come, though the storms blow, we will not be moved because we are anchored.
it in your peace. Father, in the name of Jesus, would you come and see about your children here? Father, before we advance, before we legislate, before we decree anything, there are intercessors that are tired. There are prayer warriors that are wounded. I'm asking in the name of Jesus that you would come and deal with their grief and their sorrow. Yeah, I feel that. Father, would you deal with grief in this room? I arrest the assignment of grief in the name of the Lord Jesus. Prolong grief. Grief about timelines. Grief about losing loved ones. Grief about losing connections. Grief about losing relationships. Grief about lost opportunities. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, deal with grief. I release the rebuke of the Lord, the fury rebukes of the Lord uh, upon the head of grief in the name of Jesus. Uh, you will not bully God's children uh, out of their position. Uh, you will not bully God's children uh, out of their assignments. Uh, you will not bully God's children uh, out of their postures. Uh, Father, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I'm asking uh, that your hand uh, would be loosed in this house uh, even as a chiropractor. Uh, pop us back into place. Uh, pop us back into place. Uh, Pop us back into posture. Pop us back into position. In the name of the Lord Jesus, for every intercessor, for every prayer warrior, every evangelist, every prophet, every teacher, every pastor, every apostle that has gotten out of place because of grief and sorrow, I put a clarion call out in the spirit. And I call you back to your place. I call you back to your place. I call you back to your place. Father, in the name of Jesus, even as you're dealing with grief and sorrow, I'm asking that you would give us a resolve that says, I'm here forever. I'm yours forever. I belong with you forever. Whatever comes my way, it will not snatch me out of my of your hand. Father, you declared in your word that nothing could snatch us out of your hand. And so I'm asking in the name of Jesus, uh, that you would give these your children that resolve uh, that there is nothing, uh, there is no thing uh, that can snatch us uh, out of the hand of God. Uh, and Father, I thank you uh, because we are anchored with you. Uh, we are also seated in heavenly places. Uh, and so I'm asking, dear God, open your children's eyes that they might see from this place. Open your children's eyes that they might see from this realm. I unlock, I un unlock realms above our heads. See from a different space. See from a different realm. Pray from a different place. Pray from a seated place. Come on, sons. Come on, daughters. Open your mouth and pray here. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because you said in your word in Psalms 1, 19 uh, that the entrance of your word at the entrance of your word um, there is light uh, and so in this moment uh, I prophesy uh, the light of God uh, the truth of God uh, the revelation of God um, in the name of the Lord Jesus uh, may it hit our souls uh, may it hit our hearts uh, may it hit our minds uh, you also said God uh, that you desire uh, to put your truth uh, in the innermost parts uh, and so I'm asking uh, that the truth of God, uh, let it walk down every row. Uh, the truth of God, uh, let it sit on every pew. Um, and would you deal with every lie? Hey, 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 hey. Would you deal with every lie? Uh, the lie of the enemy that's been torturing us. Uh, the lie of the enemy that's been tormenting your children. Uh, deal with the lies. Uh, I assign the truth of God, uh, the light of God, uh, to quickly come uh, and deal with the lies of the enemy that are in your mind. Come on and pray. Yeah, 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 yeah. The truth of God, uh, the truth about what you said about us, uh, the truth about how you feel about us, uh, the truth about our circumstances, uh, the truth about our identity. Uh, Father, uh, you said in your word uh, that now are we the sons of God, uh, and it does not yet appear what we shall be. But when we see you, hey, uh, when we see you, we shall be made like you uh, because we shall see you as you are. Father, I'm asking uh, in the 
name of Jesus, um, if it hasn't happened yet, uh, before we get up out of here, uh, that you would cause your children to see you. Cause your children to see you uh, in all of your splendor, in all of your glory, uh, in all of your might, uh, in all of your beauty, uh, in all of your sovereignty, uh, in all of your strength. Uh, holy God of Israel, uh, would you manifest yourself uh, in this building uh, and manifest yourself strong uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, glory of God, uh, manifest. Uh, glory of God, uh, manifest. Uh, glory of God uh, manifest. Uh, Father, I thank you uh, that wherever your spirit is, uh, there can be no darkness. Uh, wherever your spirit is, uh, there can be no evil thing. Uh, and so as the glory of God manifests, uh, I thank you that it drives out uh, every infirmity in the body. Uh, I thank you uh, that it drives out uh, every sickness in the body. Hey, uh, I thank you uh, that your glory uh, drives out mental illness. Hey, uh, I thank you uh, that the glory of God uh, drives out for infirmities and disease. Uh, Father, I thank you. Uh, according to your word in Colossians 2, uh, you made an open mockery uh, of all of your enemies uh, and you put them to shame. Uh, and so I prophesy shame on you, death. Uh, shame on you, depression. Uh, shame on you, anxiety. Uh, shame on you, suicide. Uh, shame on you, infirmities. Uh, Hey, 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 shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. You will not do what you've created to do. You will not accomplish what you've been sent to do. The only thing that will prevail is the word of God. And so again, Father, we lift up our hands. We open our mouths and we receive your truth in this moment. Come on here. Well, yes, we receive the truth. Come on, we got a little bit more to do. We got a little bit more to do. Lift up a sound here. Here we go. Father, uh, now that we are seated again in heavenly places uh, and we have the strength to pursue uh, and conquer, we take the time uh, to war for the region. Uh, we take the time uh, to pray for the atmosphere. Father, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, we establish our right uh, as your sons and daughters uh, and we hinder every hindrance. Uh, we block every blockage uh, and we say in the name of Jesus, Jesus, uh, every system that is not like God uh, is brought to asunder. Uh, Heavenly Father, uh, begin to utterly destroy uh, and disintegrate uh, every system uh, that has your children bound. Uh, I prophesy uh, and I declare uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, you dragon of religion, uh, you spirit of religion, uh, cough up God's children, uh, cough up God's prophets, uh, cough up God's apostles, uh, cough up God's intercessors. I call your assignment to not and I declare by the truth of God and by apostolic decree, long live the bride. Long live the bride. This church ain't dying. This church still got work to do. Long live the bride of Christ. Open door still has assignments. Y'all are not a dead church. Open door is not a dead church. Open door is not a dead church. Open Open door is not a dead church. You still got work to do. And so, Father, because there is purpose in the inside of this church, I'm asking that this purpose would quicken the sons and daughters. 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 Yes, even you in the pew. You got work to do. Yes, you deacon. Yes, you usher. Yes, you trustee. Yes, you prayer warrior. There's still work to, to be done. And even now, in the name of Jesus, uh, as the children of this house, uh, we take the time to labor for this leader. We take the time to labor for this woman of God. Uh, we groan. Uh, we groan. Uh, we groan in the spirit. Uh, we groan. Father, 
Father, in the name of Jesus, you know what her body is feeling. You know the exhaustion that she has, but you also know the vision that you've given unto her. Father, in the name of Jesus, I am asking as your son, would you quicken her again? Don't just quicken her, but raise up sons and daughters. Raise up sons and daughters. Raise up sons and daughters. Sons and daughters that will not be given over to quarrels. Sons and daughters that will not be given over to petty issues. Sons and daughters that will not argue and fight and contend for positions. Raise up the sons and daughters. Father, I thank you in the name of Jesus that open door will be as a lighthouse unto Philadelphia where they will be deliverance. Whoa. Yeah, open door will bring the spirit of deliverance back into Philadelphia. Father, I thank you that even as we call down fire on this altar, that it will burn eternally. And that every person that walks in this room, they will experience your fire. They will experience your fire. Not just the fire to go, but the consuming fire that purifies. Father, purify. Purify this region. Tabanda Bakora Baya. Purify this region. Yetabai Labai. Purify this region. Father, purify. Whoa. Purify this region. Whoo. Shabada Bakato Sabaya. Menanala Labada Labekoba Diataya. Sebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebebeb
They dug through the rebel to find the original foundation, and that's where they built the altar. We got intercessors all over the world. God bless you that are praying for D.C. But then there are those of us who will go and find the original foundation. Oh, okay, that was Philadelphia. And we rebuilt an altar so that we would see the move of, do you understand? This gathering wasn't just because we wanted to put something together. It was an assignment. And so just as pastor said, you have an assignment. When you leave here, will you maintain the altar that has been built? Will you maintain the posture of prayer? Will you stand in the gap and declare what the Lord has said, even though it doesn't seem like it? We've got to go. Final thing, if there's any one of you that wanted to touch this altar and you have not had the opportunity yet, if there were needs, if there were prayers, if there was anything that you feel like you just didn't get, or if there was a little extra that you wanted to do or wanted, the altar is open at this moment. Come. And come swiftly. You don't have to feel weird about it. You don't have to feel pressured. But do understand that there is something here at the altar. There's a different kind of strength up here. There's a different kind of glory up here. There's a, it's a different kind. See, that's the thing. When you draw closer to the fire, and I even feel that. It's funny that you said that. There are a few of you that are afraid to go as deep as you know you can. Because you're afraid of the flames that will come with it. You heard us talk about sacrifice, and that's okay. The Lord understands and knows where you are. So we're not going to ask you to give up anything that you don't want to give up yet. But do understand that he's going to come for it. It's so funny that you, what you opened up with, Pastor. The Lord told me that he was coming to collect his yeses. Because there are those of us that have been in the church and there are those of us who have served the Lord. But because life has knocked the stew out of us and some of us are just punch drunk, it's one hit after the other. We've been so desensitized that we don't even want to give God what we originally gave him. Those of you who even gave God a yes in your youthful years. As a little girl, as a teen, you served the Lord with gladness and you served... You serve the Lord with joy, and because so much has happened in life, uh, you simply was like, nah, I'm good. Appreciate you, God, but I think I'm going to sit this one out. It's a meme that's circling around, and it's really funny, but it's like, yo, I'm calling God to make sure that I'm not on the strongest soldiers list for 2023 because I'm about sick of it. But the truth of the matter is, he said, I'm looking for people to stand for me. I'm looking for people to stand in the gap. And so I'm going to give you a few more seconds. If there's any of you that just want to touch the altar because you feel it by faith, come now. I'm not here to touch you. I'm not here to touch you. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. I'm even going to make an altar call because we've heard testimonies of it. And I feel the balm. If there is anybody that's dealing with any sickness or affliction in your body, come swiftly. And don't just come with wavering faith. Come believing that God can and he will. There's no infirmity too big. There's no sickness too small. There's no pain that he can't touch and heal. Y'all have heard testimonies of those who are living witnesses of his healing. You've seen people stand in the power of God that have lived in healing. There's a tangible glory. I myself, in and out of hospitals all of my life, but still standing, told me that I'd be on maintenance medications, but I don't even take them. Yeah. And so do yourselves the favor and engage with the God of all creation. If you have the baptism of the Holy Ghost, speak in your heavenly language. If you don't, just yield the best way you know how. Hallelujah works just fine. Thank you, Jesus works just fine. But what I'm going to ask is that you give him something fervent. It doesn't have to be loud, but it must be consistent on this altar. Come on and lift up your hands and open your mouth. Uh, and don't just do that apart from your faith, but release your faith. That's what it is. Would you release your faith, not just at this altar, but all over this building? Come on and put your faith in this atmosphere. Uh, 
Christ to manda katabashia ve tabanda bakubra daya lore he manda la bakata va manda la bebe sola baya ya tabanda la bakura manda bebe soya father in the name of Jesus I stand as your son I stand as your prophet and I declare now that you, the, the sons and daughters that are on this altar they will have an undeniable encounter with you in these next few moments father I thank you that it's not by the touch of man father I thank you that it's not by the touch of man but it is by your spirit it is by your spirit it is by your spirit spirit of the living God would you fall afresh on these heads spirit of the living God would you fall afresh on these bodies spirit of the living God would you fall afresh on your children here we are God here we are master here we are master here we are master some of us with the last little bit of faith that we have some of us with the last little bit of hope that we have some of us with the last little bit of strength that we have here we are God we're afraid some of us are afraid oh some of us are scared but we here we're here and we're asking that you would give us undeniable proof hey father put undeniable glory down in their bellies glory of God I prophesy that the glory of God is radiating through your bodies hey 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 it's the glory of God that radiates through your body that will bring a level of healing glory of God radiate now in the vascular system in the digestive system in the neurological systems glory of God radiate touch the children right where it hurts right yeah hey hey father I'm asking in the name of Jesus that you don't just deal with symptoms deal with diagnoses father don't just deal with systems deal with diagnoses we don't just want to be healed from the pain we want to be healed holistically we don't just want to not feel the pain we want to be healed holistically father go down 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 in our bodies down in our generations down in our bloodlines don't just heal us but heal the bloodline oh don't just heal us but heal the generation don't just heal us but heal our children oh heal our children those that are alive those that are not even here yet father go back seven generations and go in front of us seven generations and heal 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 father I don't ask I don't beg but I buy yeah I lose sickness and disease off the children's body and I bind healing to their body I bind healing to their bodies in the name of Jesus I tie healing to their souls in the name of the Lord Jesus I tie healing to their souls in the name of the Lord Jesus I thank you yes 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 this isn't just physical this is also emotional father I thank you for healing the emotional wounds the psychological wounds the mental wounds of your children children go down God into their memory ah, ah, ah. go into their memory and deliver them from that trauma 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 the trauma that even came by way of family members the trauma that came by way of parents the trauma that came from rejection the trauma that came from being a church girl the trauma that came that from being a church girl the trauma that came from being the black sheep deliver 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 father you are so mindful of us you're so mindful of us and there's nothing too hard for you. Father, I'm asking that you would deal with, again, psychological wounds and mental illness. Snap minds back, Father. 
that snap minds back into place. Show people what it's like to live without depression. Show them what it's like to live without anxiety. Show them what it's like to live without this weight and this worry. Show them. Oh, yala sina la yalo mana yade la do ya. He mana la la yalo na la la sina le ya do la mai. Ya na la la le me so mana la da la di a la do ya ba ya desavo. Show them. Hey, show us. Show us. Father, we're here at this altar. Here we are, Master. Show us. Even the scripture that has brought us here, where Elijah called down fire and consumed the offerings. Father, consume every last one of your children, not just on this altar, but in this building. Consume us. Consume us. I feel it. Consume us, consume us, consume us, consume us. Come on, some of you are right there. Would you cry out, consume us? Come on, consume us. Come on, consume us. Push just a little bit further. I hear the Lord. He says for two of you at this altar that he's not intimidated about what you use to cope. Come on, let him consume that need. Let him consume that proclivity. Let him consume that issue. Let him consume you even in the place of stress relief. The Lord says you've been condemning yourself because of what you've been using as a stress reliever, but I'm not concerned about the stress reliever. I want to deal with the stressor. Come on. Come on, push. Come on, push. Nothing separates you from his love in this moment. Come on, push. Nothing separates you from his love. There's nothing that separates you from this touch. There are through a few of you have already counted yourselves out of the move of God, but he said, I'm here just for you. Push. Yeah. Oh. 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 Ho, 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 sa, la to, la da, se de ba, yo to, la ma, ye can tell it, receive it, woman of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You don't have to rush from this altar. The power of God is here. The power of God is here. It's the power of God. It's the healing of the Lord. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh yes, oh yes, come on, reach for it.
push for it. Teach y'all how to labor in the spirit a little bit. It's not by your understanding. It's by your faith. Hey, hit me on the one. We want to see you. We want to see you. Breathe it in, children. I'm telling you, there's a different realm that we're in. We're in a different realm. It's not going to take much. I promise you, the angels of the Lord are already here. Kenaya na la so na mala Imana le dio re mbava Sobra ya ne da la ya no na nansi Kemanando shevaya Kamanande dio bala Sobana le ya no raya Yamano se dia no Na mombra nansi ke la shova da katai sumanya no Father, finally I'm asking that you would help us to keep our affection set on things above and not beneath. If we behold you, we'll become like you. If we'll see you, we'll be able to endure. If we see your steadfastness, we'll be able to be steadfast. If we see your long suffering, we'll be able to suffer well. Oh, if we see your grace, we'll be able to extend it. If we see your mercy, we'll be able to extend it. Father, you said that they shall know us because of our love. We want to see the God that is love. All of these gatherings and these few fleeting moments would have been in vain if we did not see you. And so I'm asking God, if there are any scales that hinder us from seeing you, swiftly deal with them. As a matter of fact, don't just take them off. Just reveal it to us so that we would have the onus and the responsibility of doing the work ourselves. We're not just praying immature prayers, Father. We're praying the mature prayer that says, reveal a thing so that we can give it to you. Ask us for a thing so we can offer it up. 
Don't just sedate us and take it away from us. Father, challenge us. We say, hey, hey, come on. We say, yes, challenge us. Challenge us in our growth. Challenge us in our prayer life. Challenge us in our worship. Hallelujah. Come on. We're transitioning. We're getting ready to go. The hour has been spent, and we have accomplished our assignments. All of our watches have been met. Would you open up your mouth and give him the fruit of your lips? Come on. No, 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 no. Put that one back. Establish your relationship with him and give him what you know belongs to him. No, 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 no. Put that one back. I said establish your relationship with him and give him the fruit of your lips. After four hours in prayer, you don't know him. You can't speak well of him. Open your mouths, children. Come on, give him something sweet. Come on, call him amazing. Call him beautiful. Call him wonderful. You're a provider. You're omniscient. You're omnipresent. You're amazing. You're a need meter. Yay, you're the lover of our souls. God, we thank you. Hallelujah. We thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, stand to your feet. We're getting ready to go. Hallelujah. Come on, one more time. Can we just give him a thank you? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Come on, have you felt his presence on today? Have you had an encounter with the Holy One on today? Glory to God. Can you just tell him thank you? Hey, Hey, glory to God. We get ready to go. I'm going to put Elder Jenkins on the spot because I'm going to ask her to close us out in prayer. Uh, but before we do, I just wanted to say thank you. On behalf of Teachers to Pray Ministries, thank you for giving up your Saturday, for coming into the presence of the Lord, and for praying with us for the last four hours. As our Elder Prophet Tim said, that this was an assignment. And it causes us great warfare to host these kind of gatherings. But at the end of it all, our testimony is to God be the glory for what he has done in our midst, amongst us. Hallelujah. Just want to honor every intercessor that has went forth today. Amen. Our prophetess Leah Artis. Literally did this as a sacrifice. Thank you. And may God give you double for everything that you have lost. May he give you double in this season. Amen. Our elder Jamal Brantley, he had a preaching engagement he had to go to. Amen. But he blessed us today. Amen. Lady church mother over here, Pastor Michelle Johnson. Hallelujah. Listen, there is a generation that has a weight on their lives. Hallelujah. Prayer and intercession is not just for the season saints anymore. Amen. Amen. And to God be the glory. Our prophet Timothy Dixon, who teaches us how to plow in prayer. Hallelujah. I honor my sister, Deaconess Nellie Thomas. Amen. My sister, minister in training, Sharita Collins. Listen, we were on the prayer line one morning. She was on the prayer line, and four hours later, she had birthed her twins, okay? She prayed them babies right on out. <laughs> Hallelujah. And can we honor these anointed minstrels? Anointed. They never stopped playing. For four hours, they played us into the glory. And I cannot forget these powerful, powerful vessels. Brother DJ Harris, hallelujah. Isn't God doing something amazing in his life? He has been called to the kingdom for such a time as this. And to my sister, the living, breathing, walking miracle, Elder Kia Graham, hallelujah. We honor God for you. Thank you. And we give honor to our pastor. She wanted to be here today, and she had another obligation in Lancaster. So she was not able to be here, but she's been praying, and she's been interceding, and we felt her prayers today. Amen. Amen. I honor my mother as well. 
And to the whole Teach Us to Pray Ministries, don't be looking at my stockings, y'all. This is sure girl problems. <laughs> I don't even care. When I came in today, I said, Lord, wreck me in your presence. That was my desire, and he did just that, and I'm grateful. Father, we love you and we honor you. Before I even pray out, I wanted to say this. When I was laying on the floor, I could see people trying to go up and trying to break out and trying to break through. And as Tim began to cry out in the spirit, I heard the glass ceilings begin to shatter all over this house. Those of you who have been stuck on one level for a long time, the elevator just went up in your life. The ceiling has been broken and you are going to another dimension because of your sacrifice in the house today. That's all I wanted to say. Father, we thank you and we bless you for everything that our eyes have seen and everything that our hearts have felt on today. We thank you, Lord, because you commission us into your presence. Yeah. You call us into your presence. And I pray that from this day forward, every time we hear the call, that we'll come running unto you. We thank you, Lord, for every intercessor that labored, who prepared to labor today. Father, we pray that you would bless them, that you would increase them for more, that you would enlarge the place of their tent. Let them push back their borders for what you're getting ready to do in their lives. I thank you, God. God, because you said that eyes have not seen, neither have ears heard, neither have it entered into the hearts of man, the things that God has in store for us. And we call it forth into the earth. Elder Jenkins, I want you to pray because I want you to cover the ministry. Thank you for being here with us today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. thankful that I didn't have to work today and that we registered early and they told me about it and I was able to come. What a blessing. Hey, Mandiosa. What a blessing this has been. Hallelujah to somebody who's prayed for many years to see all these generations connected in prayer in this way. It overfilled my spirit and my soul. Thank you, God. The things that you spoke were things that have been prayed in private for years and years, my God. And it's coming to fruition because God is bringing the kingdom. He's bringing the kingdom. So let's close in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we honor you. We magnify you for each and every one that you brought here today. Those intercessors, oh God, that only you chose so many years ago, some of them in the womb, like John the Baptist, and some of them, God, as they walked the roads. Hallelujah. We thank you, God. Those that were in hospitals, but God, you're doing such a work till you're using even their sicknesses as ministry. No, you didn't put it on them, but God, you're using it in the name of Jesus as they go forth. Miracle. Yes, you are. Oh, yes, you are. Heal from the depths of your soul, Timothy Dixon. Thank you. What you poured into this place. Nelly from your closet. When nobody knew you in the projects. God, thank you. Hallelujah, precious. Hallelujah, as a little girl on the altar on 11th Street. When you didn't know the anointing was on you. And I felt it at the altar. My God, I thank you to see what you're doing today in these people. Hallelujah. This other young lady who just lost her father. Thank you for her, God. What you poured out through her as we burned things that you gave to us in the trash can of life. In the name of Jesus. You burn it up, never to return again. God, thank you for this young lady that I didn't even know she was a speaker. And you had me to pray for her. And the anointing on the floor. My God, that she released to me. Hotoseke. 
Oh, nobody but you. And our precious bishop who allowed this to be happening in this open door, which has been a blessing to me for 40 years. God, I give you glory. God, I give you honor for all these that you have touched today. All these that you're blessing, it doesn't stop at the door. Hallelujah. But the angels wrote it down that we gave you a yes. Another one. Another one. And Holy Spirit, you will help us to get up when you call us. You will help us to give you more time. You will help us to push back from the table. You will help us to pray more because you're not finished yet. Oh God, how we honor you. How we honor you. Every word that was given. Hallelujah. Exodus and Ezra and John. Oh my God, today. Ezekiel and Isaiah. Oh, my God, today. And the young man that had to go, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, to preach somewhere else. God, we thank you. All that they poured into us. Oh, God. Oh, God, we value this. We value this. We know you're taking care of the next generation because of this. Thank you, DJ. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How your spirit is being used by God in your generation. Father, how can I say thanks if I had a thousand, a thousand tongues. I couldn't thank you enough for what you did for me today. The refreshing, hallelujah, both of them spoke about my body not knowing what has been taking place. Hallelujah, people see me shout, but they don't know what's been taking place in my body but I thank you for those that picked it up in the spirit that did not know me that prayed God as we leave this place we bind the enemy that doesn't like it and we plead the blood of Jesus because he can't do nothing about it it's down in our soul now and it's sealed in heaven and we take it everywhere that we go hey in the name of Jesus, be glorified in the marketplace. Be glorified in our neighborhoods. Be glorified, Philadelphia, Washington, and everywhere around the United States and around the world. Be glorified, Father. In Jesus' precious holy name we pray. Safe traveling mercies. Your angels encamp around about us. Hallelujah. And again, we say thank you. Now may the love of God and the sweet communion of his Holy Spirit cover our bishop, cover the saints, cover each one of their churches and their pastors. In Jesus' holy name we pray. Amen and amen. Thank you.